Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. Today I'll be going over how you can easily add page numbers in InDesign. As you can see here, I have a tabloid size piece of paper which is 17 by 11 inches and I want to add page numbers on both the bottom left and bottom right of this page. So I'll just go up to my pages here and then go into my master or my A parent. And let me just zoom in here. And I also want to turn on my baseline grid by going up to view, grids and guides, and then show baseline grid. Then I'll select my type tool and I'll just drag out my text box like so and then go up to type, insert special character, markers, and then I'll select the current page number. And now I'll just duplicate this by holding option or alt on my keyboard and dragging this text box all the way to the other side on my master here, which will be this page. And then I'll just go into my properties and make sure that this type is aligned to the right here. And then I'll go up to type, insert special character, markers. Oops, I have to make sure that it, the text is actually highlighted with the type tool. Go up to type, insert special character, markers, and next page number. Now let's go into our pages panel and then select the second page. And now let's just add those parent pages onto this spread and see how the numbers are for the page. So as you can see here, we have the left side and then if we try and drag the other parents onto this page or this spread, we're not gonna get anything. And the reason for that is we need to convert this page into two pages. Let's see if we add a new page. Um, and now we can see that this page has three on it. So that's kind of where the confusion is. So let's just delete this page or undo. And um, let's just grab our page tool here, select this page, and then at the top here, let's just divide this right in half. So that would be 8.5 by 11. And then if I just right click and duplicate this page in my pages panel here. Um, and you know what, let's just right click over on this parent and create a new parent. And we will want to make this 8.5 by 11. And scroll down and then let's just duplicate the page numbers from our first master into our new master. So I'll just copy with control C and then just drag these down. And just like before, duplicating this page number and aligning it to the right. And now we can leave this as the current page number because this will actually be the third page instead of the next page, which is kind of a hacky way to try and do it. So now let's just go back to our pages two and three and just apply the B parent this time. and. We can use the parent page size, use the parent page size, and there we go. Pages two and three. And this is still the tabloid size piece of paper. It's just literally two pages instead of one. And that's how we can get the numbers working properly in InDesign. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to never miss a new video like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.